up today's makeup look is going to be this look and it is a valentine's day inspired look i used the bh cosmetics smoky eyes palette for this they're actually hosting a giveaway at the moment which is running all month long so you can head on over to instagram and enter all you have to do to enter the giveaway is create your valentine's day makeup look and make sure you tag bh and use the hashtag I heart BH. You can recreate this look as your entry as well. Don't forget to tag me and my hashtag is BH loves Chels. So good luck if you enter the giveaway and let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to prime my face, I'm just using a little bit of Fix Plus and some Benefit Professional just to blur and mattify my pores in my T-zone. Then I'm going in with Makeup Forever's Ultra HD Foundation and I'm just popping this all over my face and then buffing it out with a flat top foundation brush. So moving on to brows, I'm just brushing through with a little spoolie and then going in with BH Cosmetics Studio Pro HD Brow Pencil. You guys have seen me do my brows so many times so if you want to see an in-depth brow tutorial, click the link in the top corner now. Now I'm just popping on some tape. This is just going to help us keep our eyeshadow and our eyeliner nice and clean. Now I'm just popping on Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot just to prime my eye for the eyeshadow. Just make sure it comes out true to color and stays in place. Now going in with this shade here from the BH Cosmetics Smoky Eyes palette. I'm just popping that through the crease as kind of like our transition shade and working it mainly on the outer third of my eye. Now going in with this shade here and mixing it in with a little bit of this pink shade, I'm just going to pat this on the outer third of my eye and then deepen up the crease. So you want to kind of focus it on the outer third but you still want it to blend through the crease nicely and have all the colours tie in together. Now taking this shade here on a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow brush, I'm just patting that into that outer third just to deepen it up a little bit. I want the outer third to be the darkest. Now going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot again, I'm just going to sort of carve out, not quite a cut crease, but I just want to carve it out as like a nice base for the glitter later on. So try and keep the line as clean as possible, but we are going to go back in with eyeshadow, so don't worry about it too much. Now taking this darker purple shade on a slightly angled eyeshadow brush, I'm just kind of making sure that this line is defined and also cleaning up that paint pot so it's not too messy. Now going in with Eye Candy's Confetti Glitter. This is kind of a holographic silver, but it comes up a little bit pink because of that holographic glitter in there. I'm just popping that over the top of where we had the Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and you just want to build it up so it's quite packed on. Now taking this deep purple shade, we're going to pack this on the outer third again, just to make sure that it sort of gradiates into that glitter and it's not too much of a harsh line. Now for eyeliner, I'm taking Jane Iredale's Gel Black Liner and I'm just doing the like wing, the tail part of my wing with this and then I'm going to go in with Sigma's liquid liner called Line Ace in the shade Legend and I'm going over the glitter part with this because the liquid is easier to go over the glitter than dragging through a brush with gel. Then going back in with this purple shade, I'm going to run that underneath my lower lash line just to tie in the whole look together. Then I'm going to take NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm just running that into the waterline. This is just going to brighten up the eyes a little bit. Then I'm just popping on some Benefits Roller Lash and I've also popped on some of my favourite lashes. These are the Brave Lashes by EXO Beauty. Now that the eyes are done, moving back onto my face, I'm just going in with Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and I'm going to be highlighting my face with this in all the areas that I normally would. Then I'm just taking my Real Technique sponge and blending it all out. Then taking Clinique's Chubby Stick and just kind of 
going into all the areas that I normally would contour and then not quite baking but taking Kat Von D's translucent setting powder and really pressing it into the face. You want to really press it in there so it mattifies everything. Then going in with a BH Cosmetics bronzer, I'm just bronzing up my cheeks and my temples. Using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I'm just going to be contouring my nose. And then to highlight, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit. And I'm just highlighting all the areas that I normally would. Then just dusting on a little bit of Pinched Blush by NYX before going in with Gerard Cosmetics Buttercup Lipstick. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and join the giveaway. I'll leave all the giveaway details in the description below so make sure you check it out. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you in my next video if not sooner. Bye!